Okay, this is a problem in which we're going to solve a free body diagram, a Newton's law problem that involves some angled forces. Uh, here's our problem. A 55 kilogram human slides down a, slides down a frictionless, not an frictionless, uh, a frictionless icy 35 degree slope. Find the acceleration of the human and the normal force. So I'm going to start by sketching out my free body diagram. It's on a slope, and the slope is about 35 degrees. So I'm going to indicate that by just drawing a dotted line here, dotted line here, dotted line here. Whoops, dotted line. Draw, dotted line here, dotted line here. This angle right here is 35 degrees. It's the angle from the horizontal to the slope. Um, now we need to identify the forces that are acting. Let's do that in blue. Gravity is pulling down, straight down. Let me make that a little straighter. Straight down, and the force of gravity is going to be mg. The normal force po points perpendicular to the surface, so it's actually going to point uh, perpendicular to the slope at this angle here. This is our normal force. Um, now we need to break our vectors into components. And, the, and in this case, uh, since our object is accelerating down the slope, let's just do a little downward acceleration there. We want to resolve our vector into components that are parallel to the slope and perpendicular to the slope. So I'm actually going to call uh, this direction that's down the slope the x direction. x and direction perpendicular is going to be the y direction. So gravity is the vector that we're breaking into components. I'm going to do that in green. We draw a right triangle with the legs as the uh, components. This one's a little bit long. Notice that one leg is into the slope, one leg is parallel to the slope. This will be F, G, uh, Y. This is going to be F, G, X, the bottom here. Using uh, geometry, I can, I can figure out what that angle is, but I'll, I'll worry about that a little bit later. Uh, F, G. Uh, so let's solve for the first of force of gravity first of all. Uh, force of gravity equals mg, so that's 55 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. 55 times 9.81 equals 539.55, or to correct sig figs, force of gravity is 540 newtons. Um, okay, so now we need to find the x and y components of our gravitational force. From, uh, from geometry, we can actually find them. Uh, if this angle is 35 degrees here, then this next angle is going to be 90 minus 35, which is 55 degrees, which means this little angle right here is going to be 35 degrees again, because it's 90 minus 55. So then I'll just, uh, I'm going to solve my right triangle. I'm going to redraw it out here. We have a right triangle that looks like this. This is 35 degrees up here. My force of gravity is 540 newtons. And my this is my FGY, FGX. So uh, in order to get FGY, uh, we have to use a trig function. Since we know the hypotenuse, and FGY is adjacent to the angle, we're going to use cosine. Cosine of theta, 35 degrees, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So FGY over 540 newtons. We solve that. That becomes FGY equals 540 newtons times cos of 35 degrees. FGY and F. GY equals, I plug it into a calculator, 540 times cos of 35 ends up being, uh, make sure my calculator is in degree mode, 540 cos 35 is 440 newtons, 442 newtons, let's say. I'm going to not round until the end. We do the same to find FGX. 
Let's move a little bit up. Uh, so since fgx over here, let's do it in blue, is opposite our uh, angle, we're going to do uh, the trig function that does opposite in hypotenuse, that's sine. Sine of theta, 35 degrees, equals opposite over hypotenuse. So fgx over 540 newtons. Then that becomes fgx equals 540 sine of 35 degrees. We end up with uh, fgx equals 540 sine 35, 309.7. So I'm going to write it as 309. We'll round later. 309 newtons. Actually, that's going to be 310 newtons. 310 newtons. Okay, uh, so last of all, we need to find the we need to find the acceleration and the normal force on our human. So let's go off to the side. I'm going to go down below here. Uh, we're going to use Newton's second law. Uh, in the x and y directions. So in the x direction, that's going to give us the acceleration down the slope. So let's set it up. Sum of the forces in the x direction equals mass times acceleration in the x direction. Left side, we substitute in all our x forces. We only have one. It's this fgx. So fgx equals mass times acceleration in the x. We know what fgx is, it's 310. We know what mass is, so we can solve for a. a equals fgx over m. That's going to be 310 newtons over our mass, which was 55 kilograms. Whoops, sorry about that. 55 kilograms. So 310 over 55. 5.66 meters per second squared. There's our answer number one. Uh, next one, it asks us to find the normal force. So we're going to sum up the forces in the y direction now. And remember, the y direction isn't vertical. It's the direction perpendicular to the slope. So sum of the forces in the y direction equals mass times acceleration in the y direction. Left side, we add up all our forces. Uh, we have the normal force pointing up minus the y component of gravity pulling into the slope. Sorry, the normal force wasn't pointing up. It's pointing out at the slope. So normal force minus fgy equals, well, the acceleration in the y direction is 0. It's not, it's not going off of the slope. It's not going into the slope. So equals 0, our normal force is just equal to fgy. We already solved for fgy. It is 442 newtons. So to two sig figs, that is 440 newtons. Uh, equals our normal force. So that's that. Uh, that's a an inclined plane problem with no friction. Break our vectors into components parallel and perpendicular to the slope. Then use Newton's second law to solve. Bye.